Hi, my name is Juliana, and our science fair project for 2021-2022 is called Can Astrological Signs Predict Your Personality Type? Hi, my name is Aurelia Coleman, and the title of our project is Can Astrology Signs Predict Your Personality? The purpose of our project is to see if your astrological sign matches up with your MBTI personality type. Your astrological sign is just your zodiac sign, and it's based off of your date of birth. And your MBTI type is how you perceive the world and your actions and what you say and things that you do. Um, and we would like to see if there is a correlation between the two. We hypothesize that the zodiac signs and the MBTI types will correlate with the test results of the MBTI types. Because we've interacted with people who match their zodiac signs, but this obviously won't come to 100%, so we predict it, it will come to about 60% accuracy. The materials that we needed to conduct this experiment were a notepad for analyzing results, um, a class of uh, four class four different classes of students from grades six to eight, and an MBTI test to test the students on. This website was keys2cognitive.com. The procedure: we first gave students a sheet of paper to write their date of birth, which is their birth month and their birthday, to determine their zodiac signs. After they took the MBTI test, then we collected their info. After, we analyzed them to see if they're correct by taking the fraction of students of correct zodiac and MBTI correlation as the numerator and participating students as the denominator. We divided the two and converted it into a percentage, which was about 50%. For the observations, class number one's results were about 55.5% accuracy. Class number two was about 41.41% accuracy, and class number three was about 45% accuracy. Class number four was about 46.4% accuracy. That gave us a total of about 46.4% accuracy. To find this, we added them all of the numbers up, and then we divided them by four since there were four classes. And that gave us 46.4% accuracy, which we can round to about 50%. So about 50% of the students that we tested, their zodiac sign went along with their MBTI type. In conclusion, we found that zodiac signs are partially accurate. This is because 50% of the tests were accurate. So zodiac signs are somewhat true. If we were to do this test again, we would have tested older students. This is because there were some higher level thinking questions that younger students may not understand. Our project teaches people that they shouldn't always trust websites or databases on zodiac signs that talk about your personality because they may not be entirely accurate. Apps like Nebula tell data about yourself and compatibility with others. This can make one doubt themselves. This is because sometimes they tell you what you are or not good at based off of a zodiac sign. So this can make people lose their interests and passions. So for the discussion, we found out that the term astrological sign was not just made up and off of like nothing. It was clearly based on some true information since we had about 50% accuracy and it's clearly not just a complete myth, but our results do go along with our hypothesis because we hypothesize that the results would show about 60% data because there are always outliers in a set of data. So we were pretty close, 10% off. Um, and then the results do fit along, they fit along partially with our background research because um, our research shows that different zodiac signs have very different personality types, um, which was shown on our results that we found. We got the idea for our project when we were basically looking for project ideas and we wanted to pick something that we were interested in and we've always been interested in things like astrology and zodiac signs so that's why we picked our project. Our project we ran into some difficulties. Um, one of the major difficulties we had was we thought we didn't have enough time because we did all our research and then it came to the experiment but the teachers didn't give permission yet and um, we thought we didn't have enough time but luckily we did. And yeah. We overcame the difficulties of starting our experiment late because when we asked our teacher, um, she said that she would ask the other teachers and then she did and the teachers agreed and then the students got to do the experiment. Another difficulty we had was that some people were telling us that the questions were a little bit hard to answer for the MBTI test. Um, so that's why we, when if we were to do the project again, we would have test older students because they would have understand the high level thinking questions a little bit better. 
and we would get more accurate results. If we were to have continued this project, we would have tested um, more students because the test results would have been more accurate and also older students because they could have answered the questions a bit better. And yeah, because that would have given us um, probably more accurate results. Yeah. What we enjoyed about the project was that honestly, it was really fun to like see the results um, and compare them with the results from the MBTI test and the zodiac sign and to see if they're correct. Um, the results were really interesting and I found that enjoyable. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed this and we hope you, now that you realize that zodiac signs are not um, completely made up, but don't trust everything you see. So, can astrological signs predict your personality? The answer is partially, but you shouldn't rely on that too much. Thank you for listening.